time to revisit the FFT again. I currently have a uh, 1 kilohertz sine wave with an amplitude of 10 volts. And I think it's reading about, um, I don't know, 50 something decibels above the noise floor. That's not what we're really talking about as far as the magnitude. What we're going to look at is the frequency. The sine wave obviously has no harmonics. It probably does if you get really specific because I'm sure this doesn't put out a perfectly pure sine wave. And I'm pretty sure that at the levels that it's not, this thing probably won't pick it up without some fancy settings. But anyway, that's a sine wave. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, switch it over to uh, a square wave. And there you have a square wave. And if I turn on my cursors for frequency, you can see I already got it into position. I'm looking at, on the left side, the S is the, is the fundamental, and the uh, E is the third harmonic. And you'll see that the value for S, and I don't have it turned to like really precise uh, uh, tuning, there is a way to adjust that, but I've decided for the sake of time. You can see it's at one kilohertz, and you can see that E is at three kilohertz. Obviously, there is a two kilohertz difference, which you can see here in the delta of 1992. So if I take E and move it to the next one, which you grab onto it right there, you can see the multiple stays the same, and the next harmonic is four. And I move it over to the next one, and the next harmonic is six. So that's the square wave showing its harmonics. If I move it to a different one, like uh, they call it triangle, and it, and it is a triangle because it's not it's not a sawtooth, but we can see that the triangle also because uh, um, obviously these waves are, are harmonics of a sine wave or multiple. There, there are multiple different sine waves that make up the waveform. There's a lot of documentation on this. It's quite complicated. But know that the, the harmonics at, at different areas, different magnitudes, all go to produce something like, like that. I'd have to tune it in for you to see. See? So I go back to my math. And actually, I've I got to adjust it again to get it back where we were. Yeah, but you could see that the the areas where the uh, where the different harmonics are, the spacing. Nope, that's not spacing. That spacing is two kilohertz. And if I move E again to the next one, we could see uh, four kilohertz as E sits on five, and so on and so forth. But while we're here, now that I figured out how to set it up really nice to do this sort of thing, we'll see what else we got here. And this is, I don't think these are programmed. These are ARB1, 2, uh, 3, 4. Those are uh, user-defined. And then we have pre-1. And we're, we're looking at this one here. I'm going to shut off the cursors so we can get a good look at the uh, at the harmonics. And if we want to see what that looks like, I have to count how many times I click it. One, two, three. So that's the waveform. One, two, three. And that is the harmonic. And we go to the next one. I'm sorry. There's another waveform, and that's the harmonics of the next waveform. And we can see what that waveform looks like. One, two, three. And it's this sort of EKG style waveform that comes preset in the unit two, three, and we go back, and we go to our next one, and now we have something really busy. What's going on here? So let's take a look at what this waveform looks like. One, two, three, hmm. I think it's random noise. So we'll go, we'll go to the next waveform, and we have I'm going the wrong way. One, two, three. There's the uh, another EKG pulse. We'll see what that looks like. One, two, three. And there we go, right there. And you can see the harmonics are moving as the as the waveform changes and it pulses. 
And we have an interesting one here with, let's see what we got. What does it look like? This looks like 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 a uh, sine wave going through an amplifier, but but overdriven, but not evenly overdriven. Interesting. So we'll see what that looks like. And put it. And there we go. So if we were looking at the amplifier and we had a pure sine wave, and then we had that that output, you know that would that would tell us. Obviously, we would look at something like the oscilloscope, but that would show us that that a signal might be overdriven. And next is six. And, and what is this right here? Let's take a look. We go one, two, three. It, it almost looks like a like a a modulated waveform with, with a pulse in the middle. I mean, you know, use your own judgment. But that's what we got, and that's what it looks like. Let me go to pre seven. And this looks like something that's pulsing. We'll take a look. One, two, three. We we'll get something interesting right there. And that's that's what it looks like. And I think we got another one. Pre eight. That one's got a lot of harmonics in it. That I think that's just noise. That looks like a random noise generator. And pre-9. Here we have pre-9. Pre-9 is... This is sort of like a, a quasi-amplitude modulated waveform, I guess. Um, I don't want to adjust the trigger to get it to work, so we'll just leave it at that. But there you go. And it's interesting. It, 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 if you look at it, you, I may be wrong here. But if you look at that center one, the tallest one, it's almost like the uh, the center of the AM waveform, the carrier, and the upper sideband and the lower sideband um, equal on both sides of it. Now, obviously, if you were to chop off the carrier and one side of it, you'd have lower sideband. And obviously, if you were to do it on the other side, just the same, you would have upper sideband. I'm wondering if, if there's a correlation between upper and lower sideband and what we're seeing here. That's pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything else. We got pre-10, and pre-10 is... I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what pre-10 is. And, and, and I could bring these in, and I could trigger them properly, but obviously I would lose all my settings for the FFT. So, And then we're right back to our original sine wave, which has no harmonics. So there is a, a demonstration of, of pretty much all of the preset uh, functions running on, on the field tack as it correlates to the FFT on the hand tack. Thanks for watching.